Thank you, President Officer. I'd like to offer my congratulations on your new post as well. I'm delighted to be called to give my first speech in this chamber, and I look forward to making many more contributions over the parliamentary session. I remember watching the opening of the Parliament in 1999 from 6,000 miles away when I worked with the theatre trauma team at a Los Angeles hospital. There, I was an immigrant, I worked with immigrants, and I, w I was welcomed as an immigrant. And indeed, health care across the world depends on immigrants. So today, though, I will focus on my region, the south of Scotland, but particularly an area that I'm very familiar with, Bonnie Galloway because I grew up in Stranraer. Before I continue, though, I'd like to begin by recognising the significant contribution of former South of Scotland MSP and Government Minister Aileen MacLeod. Aileen worked hard for the people she represented, and in government, she was a driving force behind the Land Reform Bill and a proponent of climate change reform. I would also like to wish former constituency MSP for Galloway and West and Fries, Alec Ferguson, well in his retirement. I shared a stage with former presiding officer at a couple of different burn suppers last year. We were invited to the same village halls. Indeed, the village hall burn suppers are often demonstrate what great local talent we have for reciting the poetry of our national bard. Robert Burns lived, worked and died in the town that I now live in, Dumfries, where the 400-year-old pub, the Globe Inn, was known by Burns as his favourite house. The plan for Scotland's future laid out in the First Minister's manifesto is wide-ranging and ambitious in its approach to building on nine years of competent government by the SNP. Education is a clear focus, and I look forward to the Cabinet Secretary presenting further plans for addressing the attainment gap. My own background is in healthcare. I'm a proud nurse with over 30 years of experience. In fact, it was my passion for protecting and nurturing the NHS which made my political career lead me to this place. Too often it is claimed by political opponents that the south of Scotland and the and Galloway is neglected by the Scottish Government. I'd like to refute that myth. The Scottish Government is spending £270 million on a new state-of-the-art hospital for the region for the and Galloway. And in 2012, almost 30 million was spent on an acute mental health unit at Mid Park Hospital in Dumfries. Additionally, we have a new ambulance station at Lockerbie, satellite dialysis unit at Kirkubri Cottage Hospital, and £6 million has been invested for Lockfield Primary Care Centre in North West Dumfries, which was opened in 2013. Other investment has been made in Dunsker and Dalbiti health centres also, and that's just health investment. Like most of you across this chamber, I hold our NHS dear. I know that the First Minister and her government do too. The prescriptions, the medications that many of us depend on, are part of our health care and are rightly free. The SNP's continued commitment to the NHS is reflected in the fact that by the end of this Parliament, the health service budget is set to increase by almost £2 billion. The First Minister has promised to make health care fit for the future by increasing the number of students in Scotland's medical schools and widening access to medical education. The Scottish Health Secretary, unlike her UK counterpart, has made it clear that the SNP is steadfastly committed to maintaining a nursing bursary and keeping nursing tuition free. There will be a 5.6% increase in student nurse intake this year and a fund of at least a million pounds for nursing and midwifery students experiencing financial hardship. As a former clinical educator in NHS and Fries and Galloway, I am all too aware of the importance of these measures. They are, there are particular healthcare challenges faced by the communities I represent. For example, in the South West, we have a greater elderly population compared to other areas of Scotland, and older people are a great asset to any community. And an individual's specific needs must be met so that they can continue to live a dignified and comfortable life. As many of you may be aware, Next week is Dementia Awareness Week. Last week, I attended an awareness-raising event organised by former colleagues who both work at Dumfries and Galloway Royal Infirmary. Linda Shaw and Lindsay Johnston gathered experts 
whose work is aimed at educating families and the wider public about how people with dementia are affected by this disease. I learned a lot. Presiding officer, this parliament will also oversee the most significant reform in health and social care in Scotland since the creation of the NHS in 1948. The integration process is already advancing in air, for example. There, the health and social care partnerships are delivering coordinated care. I look forward to further success stories as our local government and national health service groups work together. Presiding officer, I would like to draw a close to this, my first speech, by thanking the people of the south of Scotland who placed their trust in me to help take the region forward. This Galloway lass will represent you all in the south of Scotland, no matter what party, if any, you support. I will listen, I will work hard, and I will represent you. Thank you.